What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and something a little new um, with it making some uh, waves here in the last few weeks with other goings on and other hobby games. Uh, there's been a bit of a uptick in interest in Battletech so and we had tried it a couple years ago um, before um, sort of these newer box sets had come out and uh, didn't mind the game uh, rules or anything um, but uh, just the, some of the models initially turned us off uh, years back. But again, with all the new uh, hubbub about the game and uh, again, things going on with uh, a certain other uh, game community right now, it's figured it might, uh, might be worth just taking a peek at it one more time. So what we decided to do, we picked up the beginner box here and we're gonna take a quick look at it. And this is really a nice little introductory set. So um, just even by the standards of other games beginner or intro boxes so it's not necessarily a full two uh two player like large sort of starter box um so it's fairly bare bones but that's actually a good uh feature of it so you know if you really want to get it just a quick intro uh, really a true beginning for battletech then i think catalyst really has nailed it out of the park here with this so this is a 20 dollar box set guys um there's not too much in here uh, as far as minis go there's only two but what they've included here is actually quite a bit and again more than enough to get you started and get you familiar with some of the basics of the game because again with battletech and uh, with it having been as round as long as it has and all the various uh things that have happened uh, in its uh history here as a game um there's uh just uh, an overwhelming amount of things uh, to maybe confront a new player um, with, you know, where where should I really start? What, um, you know, what what uh, what miniature should I pick up? Things like that. But this is just a really a nice, true beginning. So again, 20 bucks for this thing. So just reading down the contents here real quick. So we get two high quality, uh, fully assembled, unpainted miniatures. So these guys, and again, that's um, oh, kind of uh, also uh, drew me back a little bit here to seeing that uh, some of the the quality of the miniatures on at least some of the stuff that Catalyst has produced has uh, definitely increased from guess, things I've seen earlier. Again, going back a few years, we get an 18 by 22 full color uh, game map, actually double sided. So again, plenty uh, to get you started here with just this sort of one on one combat with these mechs. But we also get some die cut uh, mech and terrain tokens, quick start rules, universe booklet to again sort of get that introduction to the the, the massive um, amount of uh, story that there is for this game. Um, and then a 24 page faction novella, or sorry, fiction novella, um, which uh, already read actually is pretty, pretty decent little read. Um, definitely get you um, into uh, the action and the way that uh, these battles are fought in this universe. Uh, some record sheets, uh, mech warrior cards, and six headed dice. That's all you need for this game. So, um, and uh, two, two is plenty for this, these basic uh, loadouts. So we're going to take a look at this and crack it open for you guys, show you everything that's inside, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, got everything open here, and again, you get quite a bit of stuff here for 20, so certainly enough to test the waters and see if this is going to be a game for you. Um, so, off the bat here, we get some dice, a couple of six-siders, again, don't need to go into more detail there, six-sided dice. Um, some of those uh, cardboard things that they had mentioned, so some standees for other mechs and variants and things like that, and then some terrain ones just to modify some of the uh, hexes. And Battletech is a uh, hex-based uh, game as far as uh, maps are concerned and terrain and stuff like that. So um, just to modify with like, you know, light and heavy woods and so on and so forth. And then also double side on those, but again, nothing to modify on uh, the back side here. Uh, so again, a little bit of cardboard here, and again, just adding some extra mechs and variants. So nicely, nice little touch here without having to uh, really jack up the cost by putting more minis in. Of course, it would be nice, but then it's not really just a beginner box at that point. It's just uh, like a true starter box. So we get that out of the way. We get our hex map here, which unfolds. We're not gonna show the whole thing here, but again, good quality here. Um, might be able to get this laminated. Uh, I'm not sure if other people do that or not. Um, I'm sure the veteran players will comment on that. And then backside here is uh, some sort of desert map with a little bit of uh, trees and scrub terrain and stuff like that. So it looks pretty cool. But again, you get two different maps in one. Then a little bit of a guide to the um, inner sphere, some of the backstory map of the galaxy essentially and factions timeline that kind of stuff again we'll be in brief here uh, a little bit on uh, the battle mechs themselves what they are um, their role in warfare and things like that and then the mech warriors themselves 
We get that. We get a quick start booklet, which again covers all you need here for just um, basic things of play and just lets you do quite a bit of, um, with that. So, you know, all the different things you need for movement, terrain, move, sh uh, shooting, various types of um, uh, weapons, things like that, um, modifiers. So, this is definitely a game of lots of modifiers. And um, one thing that does turn some people off, but um, again, isn't, you know, honestly all that bad. Just the max will take damage and they can a lot of them can take a pounding so there's going to be a little bit of bookkeeping involved and stuff like that but um and we'll talk about that when we get to the um the cards that they've uh provided there or the record sheets we should say so um it's it's not too bad and um really is uh again just uh, part of the game but um something a little bit different if you're coming from a lot of other systems there where um most things will just die after taking a little bit of damage and not really having to get into the, uh, the kind of extensive detail that some of these um, uh, Mexican tank, the way the damage is applied and stuff like that, I guess, and a quick comparison, you know, just the way like war jacks and stuff like that take damage and war machine hordes, uh, that kind of stuff would be somewhat similar, but again, not nearly, I think, as in-depth as uh, Battletech can get, but again, it's kind of good hard sci-fi in, in that sense, I think, um, for the game. But again, it just covers different victory conditions, a lot of the basics, and then kind of where to go beyond that. And speaking of that, so then some suggested next purchases and things like that. Again, this is a very, um, you can definitely go down the rabbit hole with Battletech, so there's so many things out there, because the game has been around for so long, what to buy, where to go from there. So um, that can be definitely a little bit bewildering at first, so um, they do uh, provide some good suggestions here. So, um, because otherwise, yeah, it's hard to make sense of necessarily um, where to go right uh, right out of the box after this um, if you didn't have some sort of guide. Now, of course, hopefully you're in an area, a uh, gaming group, where maybe you have a couple of veteran players who can definitely point you in the right direction as well. And certainly there's all kinds of resources online, especially, again, with the increased attention that the game is getting uh, here over the recent weeks and months. Um, and then sort of a summary on the back here, which is pretty cool too, and probably worth laminating, um, like making a copy and laminating. So just to have as a quick reference. And then a little advert here for Iron Wind Metals. So one of the things with Battletech is that um, there's uh, multiple companies that make minis for it, um, just because it's been around for so long. So um, Catalyst has some things, Iron Wind, um, I think one of the MDF makers out there um, makes uh, some minis for it now too. I think it is, if I remember off the top of my head, I think Death Ray Designs maybe, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, also makes some things for Battletech now. So just uh, no shortage of uh, models out there, uh, certainly in the long history of the game. So um, nothing, to, uh, nothing to sort of limit you there as far as um, options go. Then let's take a quick look at the two mechs here. So again, uh, something that's definitely, I think, been improved at least last since last I remember looking at the game. Um, so it was definitely a step up in quality on these guys. Um, all, again, one-piecers here, all assembled. Really um, not much in the way of cleanup required either. You can get this to cooperate today and focus a little bit for us. So there we go. So and really not much in the way of any here of mold lines, just a couple small spots I've noticed that need some cleanup, but overall, again, very nicely done here. And just overall some pretty good looking models, so, oops, as we drop it. So definitely a different aesthetic than a lot of the other sci-fi games that are out there, so if you're familiar with, you know, your grimdark and other things, so this is definitely very, um, again, big, big, brutal looking robots. Um, nothing, uh, no uh, anime aesthetic or anything like that to these guys. Um, these are just big old bruising robots here with lots of guns, lots of weapons. So, anyway, definitely good stuff here on the uh, miniatures. Then we get some cards again. There's a lot actually in here. Um, given again that this is just a little beginner box so these are i think some special characters for some of the mechs that we um and variants that we have access to from the beginner box whether it's the actual models or the cardboard stand-ins so and these are also double sided and these characters also 
we'll have all the info on here as far as what Mac affiliation, all that stuff, special rules. So again, cool that we get some of these things too, just to again show you some of the more famous or infamous uh, Mac warriors. So we got that. Then actually, let's get this out of the way first, real quick. So this neat little um, uh, story here. So uh, Golden Rule. William H. Keith. Um, again, fun little read. Um, I'm trying to remember how many pages it was exactly. So, and where are we at? Yeah, quick 20 page read. And then has like a little glossary, or not, well, um, index here uh, with um, definitions of some of the weapons and stuff like that um, that are referenced. Because again, they're not going to explain all that to you in the story. So, um, you do have to kind of know what they're talking about there. And then some sketches of some of the different mechs and stuff like that, their tonnage, classification, and all that. So, neat little bit to introduce you to the fiction of the setting, because again, um, just jumping in cold turkey, if you didn't know anything about it, um, again, can seem overwhelming, especially if you're coming from another system. So, um, there's that. And then we get uh, lots of record cards in here, too. So, again, another nice touch. These are really good uh, quality here. These, I think, I will get laminated, just to make it easier to reuse them rather than photocopy. Um, but again, so we get various, um, variants of the Locust, uh, and I think that's one of the cardboard standees, actually not the, the physical models here, but, um, again, weapon systems, all these mechs, um, even if it doesn't look like it necessarily on the model, um, if you can spot everything, there's, they just all have, uh, all kinds of different weapons on them, and just how much damage they can take and wear, um, is pretty well defined here as well as their other relevant stats and stuff like that. So again, this is a Locust, uh, was it LCT-1B? And again, history and stuff on the back, really nice touch there. Then we have a Wolverine, um, WBR-6R. Um, again, looks like this one can actually take some more punishment compared to the Locust. Um, and again, love that these are double-sided and a little bit of background on these because again definitely some learning to do uh, getting into this game uh, another locust variant here so this is lct 1e so a little bit different than there wolverine uh, again 6m the other one was 6r okay like the paint scheme on these and now we got a griffin 1n yeah, looks like this guy can take some damage too. Looks pretty cool. Thunderbolt. That seems cool. I like the paint job on that too. That looks pretty sweet. Um, TDR 5S. And damn, this thing has a lot of pips for damage. So um, is this a heavy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So lots of punishment this thing can take. Would hope it can dish it out as well. And another griffin here, uh, GRF-1S. Again, pretty cool paint job there. Another Thunderbolt, TDR-5SE. Again, really just cool stuff here. So we get quite a bit of those um, in this beginner box as well. And again, between the physical models and the um, cardboard stand-in, so the game... Um, is pretty loose with you know um, not necessarily requiring you to use um, like catalyst models for example or anything like that so as long as you can have something that really approximates the mech um, or whatever it is that you're fielding um, you're good to go with it you don't have to use necessarily just that company's models which is a pretty cool draw to the game as well and terrain um, you know the the hex map essentially I think is taking care of all that so you really don't even have like a giant terrain cost or anything like that for the game so but anyway, yeah, it's a quick tour through that uh, beginner box. It seems pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to get those two um, mechs cleaned up, painted uh, painted up here, um, and kind of go from there and get some intro games in. Hopefully get uh, some of that uh, up on the channel for you guys as well. But again, we are literally new to the game. So any veteran players out there that have some suggestions, um, factions to look at, things like that, um, what to field as well. I know the the booklet there kind of gives a guide on where to go next, but again, any suggestions from existing players, veteran players, greatly appreciated. And just let us know your overall thoughts on the current state of the game and um, what uh, what draws you to Battletech. And um, again, just uh, any other general comments on what Catalyst is doing for the game right now. And 
um, sort of just current state of the community. So hit us up in the comments, guys. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and then we'll see you in the next one. We also picked up the Clan Wars box, uh, so we're going to cover that one next. And then, again, hopefully get some other content going for you guys as well. So thanks so much for stopping in, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.